My name is Stephanie Clayton, and I am here today to share my journey and how Sick Kids has changed my life. I've been a patient at the hospital for Sick Kids since I was one hour old. That makes me a professional in my field, an expert patient. I was born with an omphalocele. An omphalocele is when your organs grow on the outside of your body. But don't worry. Thankfully, the experts at the hospital took care of that, and my organs are all in their respective locations. <laughs> now let's get down to business. I am sure you can imagine when your organs grow on the outside of your body, it will complicate all kinds of other things along the way. So as my team at Sick Kids tried to figure me out, I would continue to defy all rules and make my own. One doctor said, if you look in the textbook of how things were not supposed to go, my picture would be there. As a result of my defiance, medically only that is, I have spent most of my life living in the hospital. I have had 16 major surgeries and hundreds of invasive procedures. I now have gastroparesis, which means my stomach is paralyzed. I have pseudo bowel obstruction syndrome. That means my bowels think they are an obstruction, but are not always an obstruction. I know what you're thinking. Yes, it's complicated. I am often dependent on IV for my nutrition and fluids. The medical interventions that make me better also make me very sick. I know this does not make any sense, but because of the IV fluids and how they have to give them to me, I have developed eight serious blood clots. And yes, blood clots are a big problem. The biggest problem, however, is the severe chronic pain I have. This pain rules my every minute. I take over 23 medications on many days. I have a G-tube to drain my stomach, a J-tube for my medications, and I often have a central line. Many things, like eating food, which I love, taking a shower, and swimming are things that most people take for granted. But for me, these are often a luxury. Yes, eating is a luxury. I've been off my IV feeds for several years, and I hope to continue to eat orally. My journey has been long and complicated. I've brought my beads along with me so you can see how complicated things have been. The beads are from the Bravery Bead Program. I've been collecting them for the past eight years. I have so many of them, but I only get one bead at a time. Living in the hospital is so difficult. Not only am I sick, but I am lonely, sad, angry, scared, and bored. I've spent most holidays, birthdays, March breaks, and nine Christmases in the hospital. Yes, I said nine Christmases. You see, without the experts at Sick Kids, I would not be the awesome person I am today. I am currently followed by five teams at Sick Kids. It is these teams of doctors, nurses, child life specialists, therapeutic clowns, music therapists, and so many more who help me live my life to the fullest. These experts assure I get the best possible care and live my life to the fullest. Thanks to them, I'm able to rappel down City Hall, to ride motorbikes, and bear a race. Okay, so we don't have to share all of this with them. Promise? <laughs> my journey is far from over. But I will not let my illness win. You see, I continue to fight this, this dumb chronic pain. This pain that insists on ruling my every minute. With the help of these dedicated teams, I will live a better life, even with this chronic pain. I am the fourth kid to try a new IV medication. This medication will hopefully help me live a better life. 
Less pain could mean more repels, more motorbikes, and yes, more barrel racing. In conclusion, I would like to thank each of you here today. You are the ones giving me hope. You are the ones giving me a reason to continue my fight through this crazy messed up journey I call life. You are the ones making this all possible, and I thank you. My mom says I'm a hero, but everyone at Sick Kids and each of you here today are a part of my circle of heroes. Thank you. Stephanie, thank you so much for sharing your journey with us. We really appreciate you being here today to talk to us. I hear it was your birthday yesterday. <laughs> so, <laughs> Stephanie turned 60. So happy birthday and thank you. I can help you play with one. And you are truly our hero, definitely. Thank you. Oh, my God. 